Hey, Internet and Melee, this is Casey coming to you from the last rest stop in Indiana before you get back into Ohio, which is where I'm going. And uh, as I sit here and videotape myself, people are looking at me kind of strangely, which makes sense because this is a weird thing to do. Um, anyway, I'm on my way back from spending the weekend with Melee and Pat in Chicago. And it was a really good time. I had a lot of fun. Yay! Uh, anyway, so what I wanted to talk about today was kind of expanding on the idea that we all get to create ourselves. Um, one of the things that my parents have said that I have stuck with is that we're kind of all a collection of experiences. And we get to choose what experiences we have and therefore who we are. Um, and it's, it's more than that, though. We also get to choose how we choose those experiences. So, um, you know, we, we don't... Let me try that again. We don't just get to choose what we do, but we get to choose how we choose what we do, which is uh, needlessly complicated given my location in a you know rest stop, <laughs> but anyway, um, I watched this documentary last week called uh, The Dhamma Brothers about these guys who are in prison um, for life who start meditating and reflecting on their lives before prison and how they wound up where they are. And one of the things that a lot of them say is that they weren't really thinking about what they were doing. Like they were feeling stuff and then responding to it and not at all um, really processing through what was going on for them or what had happened to them before or any of that stuff. So um, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to record something else and then I'll be back. As I was sitting back here recording myself, the mega bus came through and um, so as I'm recording myself, talking into my telephone, this is how many people are here. So, you know. Okay, so anyway, it isn't just that we get to make decisions about what we do with our lives, we get to make decisions about how we make decisions about what we do with our lives. And one of the things that comes up in you know, feminist spaces a lot is about you know, choose your choice feminism. Um, and people are often like, oh, well, you know, these or those choices aren't feminist. And I have complicated feelings about that. Um, on the one hand, some choices are maybe not, I don't know. Um, on the other hand, I don't think that that's how feminism works. I think feminism is a process by which you make choices. And the end result is not really the point there. Um, I mean, some choices are better for women as a whole, but everybody's got to kind of survive. So, you know. Um, but the way I look at things is that I try to make choices with a uh, feminist lens. Um, and more than that, you know, um, as a Unitarian Universalist, I try to make choices in that lens too, um, though feminism and Unitarian Universalism work really well together, in my opinion. Um, but I try to make choices based on the principles that I claim to believe in. And I, I fail sometimes because I'm a person, but having a process by which I make choices and having chosen the process by which I make choices and not just going with, oh, well, this is what people do, right? Um, makes me feel more confident in my life. And I think is really the way beyond just like make choices that you know about your life, the way beyond having somebody else's life. Um, so there's all of this like, you know, talk about what you're supposed to do. And we've been talking a lot about am I in the right place or not. And I think that one of the things about 25, about transition periods, is learning how to choose how to choose.
that's my thought from a place. I'm going to stop doing this so people stop looking at me weird. Okay. Bye.